So I have a, a quarter of my tower pasted or uh, copied onto my clipboard and I can now paste this into the world if I do a control V. And so I get this quarter and if I just press enter, um, and now what I want to do is paste in another quarter like so. Uh, this needs to be flipped, so I'll do a control F, so it's flipped it. And now I'm gonna bring it over to where it needs to be. And if I just come up to the top, it's probably easier to see where it needs to be up here. So if I, if I just rotate around like this, I can just scroll this into place like that. And we can bring it backwards one like that. There we go, and then press enter to confirm it. Uh, now I can paste in another quarter. Do control V. And we'll just bring this over. And we need to flip this. Not like that, <laughs> not vertically. So paste that back in. If I get more in front of it and then do the control F to flip it. And then we can bring it over. Over to the side slightly so I don't end up accidentally rotating it. I'm just gonna bring it over like that. And it looks like if I just scroll along like that, it'd be close to being in place. Just look at the tip of the roof, it needs to come over one more. So just scroll this way, there we go. We can confirm that. And let's paste in another of the final quarter. So we do another control V. Now this will need to be flipped twice, I think. Yeah, so if we just do a control F from here and another control F from over here, that should hopefully fit into that final quarter like that. Put it roughly in place like that. And if I come over to this side, just scroll forward on there. Is that in place? Looks like it needs to come back one or not up. Like that. Got it now? Yeah, there we go. That's all lined up. So we press enter there and now I've got my full tower. I can come out of that window by pressing the right shift and we can if we just go to the top of the tower what I'm going to do is I can just use the standard tools plus press my left uh, my left alt button and I've got the symmetry tool there and now I can just right click to place a symmetry node there and then I press uh, control F for flip but however I, I need to be in the right position to do this uh, we want to be facing like that so we do the control F so we can see what axis it's going to flip in by these little cones here and I want to have it flip in the other axis as well so we'll do that so that's cool and now we just want to leave that alone now what I tend to do at this point is I will press uh, like one or one to nine on the keyboard so I've got a got a block selected now if I if I'm on the symmetry tool like that and I scroll it's actually going to move the symmetry position which you want to watch out for you don't want to accidentally do that so I just press, press one and I've got the podge blackstone stairs like that and now my I can scroll on the the uh, the hot bar without that moving just got to remember to try and avoid accidentally moving the symmetry point now I should be able to start to edit my uh, tower um, and if I just delete those blocks, you can see that that is now working and we can see there is a slight error there. So let's get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, I've done that now. I've accidentally scrolled over and it's moved up, so it's not too bad. Come back down now. Putting that stair there. Similar problem there. Do that. Uh, and 
let's just add a few blocks to sort of demonstrate that the symmetry is working. So if we put in some blocks there, they appear over there on the corners. Like so. So now we can work on the tower with, uh, um, with, with axis symmetry.